Icelandic moss is a popular European folk medicine and it's commonly used for colds, coughs, mouth irritation and respiratory issues. It isn't actually a moss, it's a lichen. A lichen is a dual organism consisting of a type of fungi and an algae or bacterium, both coexisting together to allow it to exist in harsh climates. The symbiotic relationship keeps the Icelandic moss well protected and nourished. While fungi lack the plant pigment chlorophyll and they can't undergo photosynthesis, the algae can undergo this process to provide nourishment and the fungi provide protection from the environment. Despite not being a moss, the Icelandic moss gets its name from its moss-like appearance. Its colour varies from yellow-green to darkish grey. Interestingly, the growth of Icelandic moss and other lichens is a sign of a healthy ecosystem, as they can absorb nutrients and pollutants around them. Therefore, environments where the Icelandic moss are grown are believed to indicate low pollution levels. That said, the Icelandic moss can still be contaminated with pollutants and heavy metals. For centuries, the Icelandic moss has been used as a European folk medicine to treat various ailments such as coughs, colds, respiratory illness and digestive issues. It's most commonly used as a lozenge or a cough syrup, but it can also be consumed as a tea, ground in soup and porridge, as a feed for reindeer and as a flavouring for alcoholic beverages. In the United States, it's only approved for use as a flavouring agent in alcohol. The Icelandic moss is most commonly used to alleviate colds, coughs, mouth irritation and respiratory issues. It's usually taken as a lozenge, but it can also be consumed as a tea. While some older studies are available, no modern research exists. In one study, 1,848 children aged 4 to 12 with upper respiratory infections were given four to six lozenges every day for one to two weeks. By the end of the two weeks, 39% had fully recovered and 55% had improved symptoms. However, because there was no control group, it's unknown if the lozenge caused the improvement in the symptoms. Additionally, six children experienced adverse reactions such as itching, nausea, abdominal pain, heartburn and burning inside the mouth. Another study in 61 patients with postnasal surgery found 10 lozenges led to significant reductions in mouth dryness and inflammation caused by breathing through the mouth and no adverse reactions were reported. The Icelandic moss is believed to relieve cold and cough symptoms due to its anti-inflammatory properties. Two fibrous compounds, lichenin and isolichenin, are believed to activate interleukin-10, an anti-inflammatory cytokine, which supports the immune system. The Icelandic moss is used in traditional medicine to treat other health issues such as respiratory disease, loss of appetite, indigestion, cuts and wounds. Despite its historical use, there's insufficient evidence to support using the moss for treating any other condition. The Icelandic moss lozenges have had some reported side effects. One study showed consuming them for two weeks led to itching, nausea and abdominal pain, heartburn and burning inside of the mouth in less than 1% of the participants, 6 out of 1,848 people. There's no known drug interactions from taking the Icelandic moss, but it does contain fibrous mucilage, and this can decrease the absorption of medications and reduce their efficacy. Also, because the Icelandic moss absorbs pollutants, it may contain high amounts of lead and other heavy metals, though more data would be needed. The Icelandic moss appears to be safe when taken as an extract in a lozenge for children and adults with a dry cough and a sore throat, provided they follow the recommended dose and use it for no more than one to two weeks. Though likely safe due to similar preparation techniques, no safety data is available for the Icelandic moss syrup. Due to a lack of data, those who are pregnant, breastfeeding or who are on any medication should avoid taking the Icelandic moss in all forms. The Icelandic moss is a natural remedy for cold and cough relief and it's used in many European countries. It's available as a herbal tea 
or a ground powder, which could be added to soups or porridges, or available as a lozenge or a syrup. You can purchase Icelandic Moss skincare products, like soaps, scrubs and creams, although little data exists on their efficacy. It isn't recommended to consume the untreated moss, as it could contain high levels of heavy metals. Due to a lack of scientific data, an appropriate dose recommendation cannot be made. Icelandic moss is a type of lichen and it grows mainly in Iceland. It's available as a lozenge, a cough syrup, a supplement, a herbal tea, a homeopathic tincture and a skincare ingredient. Some research supports taking the Icelandic moss to alleviate a sore throat, cough and mouth irritation. However, more research is needed for use in treating indigestion, cuts, wounds, loss of appetite and other health issues. For more on herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.